Hey, buddy. Hey, can you give it up? Come on, get him. Get him. Get him. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Come here. Come get Toby. Go get him. Go get Toby. Watch out! You want a snack, huh? Fired up for the snacks. Super. Let's go, come on. Everybody likes a little snack time. But as you can see, um, the play, they really figured it out now they, I mean because it's complete they Toby jumping on him and him jumping on to Toby and it's 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 really hardcore now and they both like to play that way and you saw um, you know the first time out I had to I had to stop that because Toby came and jumped on e Ella and Ella didn't want it and Ella snapped at him and I controlled it I controlled it all with voice I called Toby off. Um, I made sure it was going to work. There's ways to make the stuff work. And then you see now the play that, that they have. And they can do whatever they want each other now. They actually... Ella, Ella likes when he comes and jumps and jumps on her. Ella likes that kind of play. Ella didn't know Toby well enough that first time to let that happen. That's the difference. Um, you have to understand the dogs. What kind of dog is this? Is this a dog that is okay with dogs? It knows it's just a strange dog thing. And, you know, a lot of this pit bull, you take it, and a strange dog just runs up from across the field, and they fight. I brought them together, and they had seen each other in the house, and blah, blah, blah. But they're still, they, they were brand new. Um, so... Ella wasn't going to attack him as a strange dog, but Ella didn't know him as a friend that we wrestle that way together. And I had to make sure that worked smooth, smoothly, so I called Toby out of the play several times to let Ella know I was going to be in control of it. Um, and then she was able to see Toby's intentions. He was just playing. He was not starting shit. And then she's like, yeah, I like to play that way too. And bang. Now they're best friends. Toby, come! Breakneck speed. Ella! Ella, boo! Super. Ow! You bit me, dude. Come on. Got me with a tooth. Got me with a tooth, man. Let's go, Papa. Let's go, Papa. You're doing so good, Papa. You're doing so good. And it was great for Ella to, you know, make friends with to Toby, and they come out here. And Toby's the wild dog out here. He's like goes everywhere and explores. And some dogs just, you know, they don't really go go nuts. They they just walk with you or whatever. Toby is the kind that he he goes. He goes out there, he runs around, he sees everything, and Ella, Ella was kind of reserved. Um, she, she want, you know, you saw her in the beginning, she wanted to go hunt and kill shit, that's all she wanted to do. She wanted to go kill the lizards and any kind of prey and that kind of stuff. And you see this time we came out, well, what did she do? Has she gone in? We, we walked right by all of those things where she was going nuts, you, like you saw when I, the first first day we came out here she was obsessed with going into that stuff because prey was in there what what happened today she didn't go near it she would burst into play with him and we go down this path here together right um big change big 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 change hi buddy 
and that ha happened by hunting game me bringing her out here pointing out the prey to her showing what she should do with the prey not just stopping her i was like i'm not stopping you i'm showing you how to do this and you see we come out here and she plays with dogs now and she hangs out with me and she doesn't go nuts over that stuff not saying that she has any less prey prey drive she just understands the situation and she understands how we deal with the prey that's all tobis hi buddy you guys look good man you guys look good tobis tobis oh jesus See how both dogs look. Look at the tails up. Look at the, 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 the way they walk around. Confident as hell. Really nice. Really nice. Toby loves to go out there, man. Toby! He's got to watch because I see him, he'll... He, he eats shit. He eats like duck shit, li the lizard shit, any kind of shit. So I see him, if I see him down in there like he's eating shit, I yell. <laughs> Get him off of it. I, I didn't want him to come right then, but but it's, I don't want, like I saw he was into, into something. He'll roll in it. And there's a lot of it out here because iguanas, Toby, 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 Toby. He's going down. You see, there's all kinds of prey, prey down here, the lizards and stuff, and they're all all in here. Ella, come! Super! Come on, Ella. You first. You first. It was super, super recall, and and she was hit heading after those you know I, I don't know what she saw in the canal iguanas ducks i mean she they go down the canal and that's that's a good time to work on the re, the recall you know when they when they start to go after something like that and she's got a recall no electric used like i said i did it like i do with all the other dogs i taught ella recall um and there's there, there's the ducks Come on, Ella, let's go see the ducks. Toby loves birds. Like, he's crazy about birds. Two dogs together, very different than one. If you're going to play hunting game, multiple dogs, much different than one dog. Much different. Um, they get together and much more difficult to, to control it. Toby, come. And you see right away, bang, right? Um, both dogs. I come out, you see me out with six, seven, eight, nine dogs, pit bulls and this and that. That's, that's a game most people should not play. Um, it is so, ow, so much easier to lose control of multiple dogs than it is one dog. They ping off each other and stuff and man, but there's, you see those ducks right there. Toby loves birds, man. Like, like ducks and birds and stuff. See, and he's like, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go down there, but I'm gonna come back for food. Like, right? And it's not that, I uh, mean, I could explain this all day. None of these dogs will choose food over the duck, food over iguanas, food over dog, food over prey. That's something that comes out of the hunting game that I play and it's something that's developed they're never choosing food over that thing it's it's the way I explain things to them and guide them and show them they know what their options are and it's never I can go get that or I can go get food they'll never make that right choice never I, I don't care what anyone says dog like this forget it will always get that prey Look at them. They're both going to get amped up. All 
All right, come on, let's go. Um, yeah, they'll they will never choose that food over over the prey. Um, you have to you have to explain it to them a very different way. Easy, easy, buddy. And you see how amped up this dog is because of that prey. And you, I'm paying attention to this whole this whole situation, of course. Come on. Arousal is not a bad thing. You need to teach a dog how to act in an aroused state. That's when you have Ella, come on. And you see, right away, that dog turns off those birds for me. And you could see that dog was aroused. I mean, she was starting to hop and that pit bull, you know what I mean? You know, this this dog's, if you don't think this dog was aroused there, you don't, you don't know anything about dogs. Um, trying to knock down the uh, excitement of arousal is a bad plan. That's what hacks do. Um, you want to go into it. Come on, Ella. Probably rolling in lizard shit. <laughs> um, that's what hacks do. Um, when you can really train a dog, you take them into the aroused state and you, you guide and control them there. And that's when you get real control over a dog because they can get excited and aroused as much as they want and you still have control if you always just knock them down as soon as they look look at that thing hit the electric as soon as they look at the thing hit the electric you're always keeping them knocking them down knocking them down not letting them get into the aroused state because that come on Ella, come on come on i'm afraid she's there's got to be some shit there um always knocking the dogs down that's how you keep control because if they get aroused you lose control of them you you know you do so you're keeping them down keeping them down and you get a, a just a completely suppressed dog it's completely suppressed dog it's a mess ruined dog but also what happens if the dog does get uh, uh, excited and aroused that you know you you go out and something you get into some situation and you're not quick on the draw with the electric as soon as the dog boom you're banging them with the electric or you get the kind of dog that that just that doesn't work on like you know jade you're never gonna just jade looks at a dog tap her electric keep that dog suppressed she's gonna, <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna lose control of that dog so damn fast but you know you get now you have a dog that that's that's what you've done relying on that suppression energy's got to be low and it's not and you get into a situation and they get aroused you you're done you're done everything you've based your control on is the fact that you can keep them and there's a bird right there toby loves loves that kind of bird everything you've you've done is based on the fact that you can keep them calm and now all of a sudden you're in a situation they're aroused you lose you lose it. If they're off leash, they're gone. Man, uh, that's why I, I can have a dog like this off leash because I know, get aroused at that prey. If I say come, this dog's coming, right? So come on guys, Toby. All right, and that's what, that's what you want. I am not afraid this dog like started to run down the bank after, after that prey like we saw before. I'm not afraid of that one bit. I let her start to go. I let her get a little bit of a chase. I play with it. She's, she's looking at that bird. And this is a dog that would have went when she first came. Absolutely. You saw videos dragging me around on the leash, <laughs> Choke, choking herself and shit. Toby, absolutely, yeah, he loves birds, man. I let them look. There's somebody, I don't know if they have a dog, so I'm gonna watch here. I might have to pick up the leash, I, I don't know. See, not aroused, she's just, she's just flinched. Twitched, not flinched. Yeah, good, good, good girl, bye-bye. Good girl, bye-bye. Yeah, you're crazy, bye-bye. You're crazy, bye-bye, you're crazy, bye-bye. Yeah, come on. This is this is a fun dog to do do this stuff with because she's she's very easily aroused. This dog, like like 
boom, she goes. And she goes, you know, and, and so you get control of it. And this is where the fun is. This is where the real skill is. Not just suppress, 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 correct, 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 correct. A a anytime the dog looks at it, looks to pray, looks at it, correct, correct, correct. That's such caveman bullshit. Such, it's such a bad idea. There's a, there's a big bird over there. Come on, guys. The real skill is, is hey, there's prey over there. What, what are we gonna do with this? How, how are we gonna act? What are we gonna do? We're gonna look at him. I'm gonna recall you. We're gonna do this, like, 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 do, doing it with the dog under control. But the dog's like, yeah, I like prey. Ex excite, excites me. Of course it does. You're a fucking pit bull, <laughs> right? Of course it does. You know what I mean? It's like I see ice cream. Excited. You know what I mean? I gotta control myself. <laughs> See, there's a vulture, I think it is. So we're gonna go look at that. Yeah, Bubba, you see it? You see it? It's a big boy over there, big bird. Toby, vulture, come here. Toby. And once again, it's gonna fly. I get that, Bubba. Super. Super. Yeah. See the drool come out? There she goes, flying. I'll let her, yeah, here she goes. Come on. Let's go. Super. All right, I've talked enough. I wanted to see you guys, you guys to see the beginning of the way they play now and how Ella accepts him now, the way he jumps. Toby, come on. The way he, the way he jumps and stuff like that. And then, then I wanted to see you, see them the way they are out here now. And, and man, he's a hunter, man. I don't just shut everything off. I show him a way that we can do this constructively. And you could tell the way he's always looking for me to play and everything. Hey, Ella. Come here, Bubba. Right? I bring, I bring a toy out here and I bring a ball. And what, what do you think this is going to be? Right? What do you think this is going to be? This is going to be me and him playing. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Ah, nice. Because he wants to play with me. Even with all of this stuff, you see, as soon as I say, hey, come, o come over here. I'm going to do something with you. He's like, yeah, me and you. Right? We're there. We're there. That's the important thing. Get aroused. Look at the prey. Look at this. Hey, let's me and you do something. Toby, come. All right. I've talked enough. I can talk about this shit for days. Hold on. Hold on, Porculus. Toby. All right. Let's go. Over and out.